thanks for tuning in. My name is Sherry, and we are here in the beautiful Abbott Oceanarium this morning to introduce you, if you haven't already seen or met, the youngest dolphin in our dolphin family, the Pacific White-Sided Dolphin. And we have a special celebration today because she is turning one year old today. <laughs> so one year ago today, Harmony was born. She was about 25 to 30 pounds when she was born, and now she's over 140 pounds. So she has done a lot of growing in the last year. And she's joined here by her mom, Cottrell. And Cottrell is just under 300 pounds. So we think that Harmony has a decent amount of growing left to still do. Um, so we're excited to celebrate Harmony's first birthday. A little bit, we're gonna talk first a little bit about the species in general of the Pacific white-sided dolphin. So a lot of what you can learn about the uh, Pacific white-sided dolphin already starts in their name. So if we start with the first part, Pacific, they are from the northern Pacific waters, and that's definitely a little chillier. So this water today is around 60 degrees, pretty chilly, and they're from off the west coast, south from Baja, California, north up to Alaska, and all the way west towards the east coast of Asia. So you find them off the coast of Japan and China. You can see they're a little bit smaller of a dolphin. A lot of people are familiar with the bottlenose dolphin, a little bit larger species. So these guys are a little smaller. I mentioned they're at their adult size can be anywhere from 200 to 400 pounds. But they're super athletic, um, really agile, and um, they can swim up to 25 miles an hour. So the rest of what we can um, learn about these dolphins hey, Harmony, is in their name being the white-sided, so Pacific white-sided dolphin. You can see they have beautiful coloration. It's really unique to this species and just so impressive. They have that dark back or dorsal area and they have that very bright white ventral or underside. So that is a really important form of camouflage for them. And that coloration pattern actually has a specific name that's called counter shading. So counter shading helps that when you look at that black back from above, like you can see on Harmony here, it blends into the ocean floor. And then if you're under them, they have that white ventral side that will, as you're looking up at them, blend into the sky. So that's a really important camouflage for them in that they are both predator and prey, right? So they are both of those things. So there's multiple things that they want to be hiding from on the ocean. If you're just joining us, my name is Sherry, and we are live with here with our Pacific white-sided dolphins, specifically to celebrate one of our dolphins in particular, because it is our Harmony's first birthday. So a little bit about Harmony as a unique individual. Um, I like to talk about Harmony's name. So we had a really incredible opportunity to pair, um, collaborate with our Chicago Public School fourth graders in helping name Harmony. So we sent them a list and they were able to uh, vote on their favorite name. And that's how Harmony got her name. Um, we love the name Harmony, we think it suits her, and we love that it can represent the balance that we have with the animals and the ocean and aquatic life and the harmony that we have living in the same blue planet. Hello! Um, harmony, she is a um, individual with characteristics. She is energetic. She's exactly what you would think and expect out of a one-year-old dolphin. Um, she's spontaneous. She's independent. We see her um, pair up with all the other dolphins in our pod. And she's very close with her mom, Cottrell, but she has also been introduced to the other four dolphins within our pod here at Shed. So um, it's been really, really fun to see her grow up and um, how much she's changed in just one year. So she's hit a lot of important milestones in her last year. So she's going to go off and be spontaneous. Like I mentioned, she often will um, kind of have yeah, bursts of energy. So again, pretty typical of a one-year-old if you're familiar. Um, so some of the milestones that she hit, the very first milestone she had to hit was taking her first breath of air after being born. So again, one year ago today, celebrating her first birthday, she was born early in the morning, the sun was coming up, and she 
um, came out. And thankfully, Cottrell, an incredible mother, these guys are an incredible team. She was able to help Harmony up to the surface for her first breath. But uh, Harmony was already a pretty strong calf as well, so that was an easy process. That gives us a big sigh of relief when we're there because then all we have to do is just enjoy and watch. So we just got to um, enjoy that process. I think we are watching them after they're born for 24 hours a day, minute by minute. So we are constantly observing the um, calf development process. So the next important milestone that they have to meet is going to be pairing and bonding with mom. So as I mentioned, these guys are a natural pair. Uh, we often want to see them engage in a behavior called slipstreaming. And uh, kind of a funny word for basically pairing up, swimming together. And basically, Harmony will be in Cattell's drag. So as she swims by really fast, Cattell is actually kind of pulling Harmony along and allowing her to not have to use that energy to swim since she, when she was a newborn. So um, they are really good at that. You can see they swim together really well. Woohoo! And then the last and most important milestone that they then have to hit is the nursing process. So nursing is really important where Harmony gets all her nutrition in the first few months from Cottrell. And so, uh, again, we are monitoring that. Thankfully, we want to see that nursing within 24 to 48 hours. But again, these guys were, once again, awesome. And they were nursing within a few hours. So it was really, really incredible to see. So the next thing that we uh, do with our calves is the training, is the learning process. So what are we doing right here? This is a training session um, for our animals. But one of the first things that people want to know, what do you train your animals, is uh, relationship building. So we get to know Harmony. What does she like? What does she like to do? Uh, we want Cottrell also to be comfortable with us being with Harmony. And as you can see, they have a really, we have a really close bond with these guys. And that's important because one of the most important reasons we train these animals is to help participate in their own veterinary care. And I think these behaviors, you can see Michelle here is actually giving a little body check. Body check. Harmony's bumping her tail there. Um, she's checking her skin, she's checking her eyes. We're able to look at her teeth. So you can see, a lot of people wonder, do they have teeth when they're born? She does, she does have a full, almost full set of teeth. They will have over a hundred teeth as an adult, and they are already pointy or conical or cone shaped, so over a hundred. And they do not chew their food, so why do they have teeth? Um, they do swallow their food whole. So they'll actually, they eat schooling fish. Here at Shed we feed herring, capelin, and squid. And normally, a uh, dolphin will go out and use their teeth to grasp onto prey and then swallow it whole. So um, that's why they have their full set of teeth. These guys, when it comes to food, again, they eat herring, capelin, and squid. Harmony now, and I mentioned she's nursing, so she is still nursing from Cottrell, but she's also eating fish. That was another milestone that we were looking for within this last year, and she easily did that. <laughs> so she has, she eats around seven pounds of fish, in addition to nursing from Cottrell. And Cottrell here, can I think, girl? Um, Cottrell, if in comparison, eats around 25 pounds of fish a day. So again, Harmony's got a lot of catching up to do. Um, so I mentioned the training. Another important part of training is that we also are involved in research here at Shed. Pacific white-sided dolphins are a species that some people might not even be aware of exists. There are not a lot of zoos and aquariums that house these species. So a lot of what we've learned uh, about Pacific white sided dolphins has been here at Shed Aquarium or other zoos and aquariums. These dolphins are open ocean or pelagic dolphins, so they're really hard to study in the wild, um, much less seeing a one-year-old um, and that development as well. So what we know about fetal development, calf development, and milestones um, has been at zoos and aquariums like Shed Aquarium. So it's been pretty, again, incredible to see. 
another research study here, part of um, said actually defined the hearing range for Pacific white sided dolphins. Um, we are part of a hearing study, and we have helped define that range of, of hearing, which is pretty awesome. Um, that's important because some of their threats are going to be noise related. So getting caught as bycatch and fishing nets, um, and ocean noise, so boats and commercial boating making noise pollution is one of their threats as well. So that research and knowing the hearing range of the Pacific white sided dolphin could help them in the future um, from current and future threats. All right. So we're gonna go into some energy behaviors. If you guys Okay. Um, we're gonna show off with some of what Patrell and Harmony have been pairing up together here. They're using that strong key uncle to jump up into the air. <laughs> some natural behaviors that they would normally do, jumping up in the air. It helps them get a better look at their, um, their world around them, and then you actually can even communicate amongst other animals why they're jumping up in the air. So we'll see her do that on her own time, all the time. Um, you guys saw it earlier. <laughs> so yeah, do you have any questions? Uh, how can they see your hand signals when they're underwater? Ooh, how can they see your hand signals while they're underwater? So they have very good vision both above and below the water. So it's kind of like if you look down into the water and it's very still, we can actually make eye contact with them and they're watching us, they're looking at us, and they can see it. So they have incredible vision both above and below the water. Uh, how fast can they swim? They can swim up to 25 miles an hour and jump up to 20 feet in the air. They're very athletic and very impressive, very powerful animals. All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Shed Aquarium live feed of our Pacific White Sided Dolphin. We're going to one more time say happy birthday to our, happy first birthday to our Harmony here. And we would love to see you guys, we would love to see you guys soon here at the Shed Aquarium. We do have animal spotlights throughout the day that can definitely highlight some of our animals here. So thanks for coming. Thanks for joining.